Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Android 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4. The version that I'm going to be installing in this video is actually an unofficial lineage of Android 10 provided by Constacang. Despite it being an unofficial lineage of Android, you can still download the Google Play Store and access most of its content. And if you want to know how to do just that, simply check out my previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe and if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, you're gonna have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to a website called constacang.com. To download the ISO file, simply scroll down and click on the highlighted link. Then click on download and select primary download. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher. In my case, the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that will be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 32GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. As you can see, the Pi is now successfully booted up and you can now begin with the basic setup process, like you would with any other Android device. As you can see, Android 10 has been successfully installed on the Raspberry Pi 4 and can now be used. However, the Google Play Store isn't installed yet, so if you want to find out how to do that, go ahead and check out the second part of this video lineup, where I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store step by step, since that alone will be quite a long video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, so if you're interested, make sure to check it out. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.